guys, welcome back to a new video. If you have not been here before, I'm Renee and welcome to our channel. So if you are new here, please hit the subscribe button down below and just stay connected with our channel. Today's video is going to be about how it is being stationed in Washington. I'm going to talk to you guys about some stuff we like to do, a dislike of ours, we only have one dislike. And it is only me in this video because Josh is going to be gone this whole week and I wanted to get this video up for you guys tomorrow, actually. So yeah. I just decided to make it on my own and Noah is upstairs sleeping. Also you guys, I'm going to put my Instagram and Josh's Instagram on the bottom of the screen so give us a follow if you haven't. I'll also put Noah's Instagram. Maybe I'll put Noah's Instagram right here. So give us a follow and let's get started with this video because I have a couple places to talk about that I hope you will go to and I hope you will love if you go to them. first like about Washington is the weather which surprises a lot of people because it rains and is cloudy a lot but I love that we got weather in California like this maybe a month out of the year it would get kind of cold there but not rainy and gloomy like this and I love this and right now it is fall and all the leaves are changing and it's just so pretty outside the only thing I don't like about the weather is when it gets windy I hate the wind it gives me allergies and a runny nose and it just makes it feel a lot colder than it actually is and that sucks. So I also have never lived somewhere where it snows. Obviously it doesn't snow in LA so when it snows here, I don't know how much it snows here, I just heard it does snow here. I don't know how I'm going to handle it. I hope all goes well with the snow. So the other reason why we love living up here is all the nature, all the parks there are to go to, all the lakes, all the rivers. It is just so pretty. There are just there's just an endless amount of hikes you can go on and lakes you can go to. And I'm going to tell you guys about some of the places we've gone. So one of the places is called Point Defiance Park. They also have a zoo and an aquarium. We've never been to that before, but the reviews are really good. And it says it takes all day to look at everything, maybe even two days sometimes. So I really hope we go there soon because. I want to see some animals. Another reason why we love that park is because they have a really pretty flower garden. They have some really pretty ponds and little streams. And also, that park also has a beach, which is crazy. And what else? Oh, the drive through the park is beautiful. I think I have some pictures of it. Um, like throughout the city, I'm going to be inserting pictures and the addresses of these places as well, so you can check them out. But yeah, the drive through Point Defiance Park is like a road and there are just huge, beautiful trees and hiking trails you can go on too. We haven't gone to any of the hiking trails and it's just such a huge park. There's just so much to do and we haven't done everything yet. The second place I'm going to talk about is called Nisqually National Wildlife Refuge. This place is huge as well. I went to it, well we all went to it because I saw a picture on Google of like a boardwalk that goes into the ocean and when we went there that was nowhere to be seen. I guess we went to the wrong part of it but it was still really pretty. We went through a walk into like the forest. It wasn't really a hike. We, it wasn't a dirt path. They have like a boardwalk that you walk on so you're not walking on the dirt path. I guess they don't want you to kind of interfere with the plants and the animals they have there. I think it is a really popular place for bird watching. They had signs everywhere of different birds to have you like spot them and where they would be or if they would be there during certain times of the year. We actually saw a snake when we went there, which just, it was weird. It, was, it wasn't weird, it was, kind of freaked me out a little because it literally just crossed in front of us and I wasn't expecting that at all. But it is a really pretty park and I'm going to try and put some pictures right here. I hope I have some. And I highly recommend you go there. The next place I'm going to talk to is called... Talk to? What? The next place I'm going to talk about is called Steliacum. I hope I said that right. Park. This park has a really huge dog park and the dog park looks like you're just on a hike in the forest. It does have a really big grassland, but there also is half of it that just has like huge trees and plants and it doesn't even look like a dog park, or at least does not look like any dog park I've ever seen before. And I love going there because it's just so big that your dog can run free and get all of its energy out. 
On the opposite side of the dog park, they have some hiking trails, and I've gone hiking there one time. There is like a main trail, and it, I think it kind of goes in a circle, and there's a bunch of other smaller trails, and I really wanted to go on the smaller trails because it looked pretty interesting, but I was there alone. I'm also going to post some pictures of that. I went in the morning. The air was fresh. There wasn't a lot of people, and it was a weekday, so maybe that's why, but I highly recommend going there because it was just a really pretty hike, and it's pretty much flat, so it's just... I guess a nice walk, more than a hike to go on. Another thing we like doing is going on drives because of the nature as well. It is just, you can go on really pretty drives around here too. And one of the drives we like going on is down Highway 507. It goes through Yelm and Roy. And you can take like another way and it'll take you through Nisqually, which is where we like going because in our last video, I posted some clips of us going off-roading, and that was in Nisqually. It was along the, no, it was in Yelm, along the Nisqually River. And the Nisqually River is really pretty. We always see people fishing there. I don't know if you really want to go in the water. I guess you can, but we haven't done that. We just went off-roading along it one time. And yeah. Oh, the other highway is called Old Pacific Highway which is also really pretty. These drives are just so crazy to go on to me because there would be like huge redwood trees and plants and all of that, and then literally it will just be a bunch of houses. That is where I wanna live, next to a bunch of beautiful trees, kind of in the middle of nowhere, but not really because there's still like Walmart and stuff like that nearby. But I love it up here, honestly. Josh loves it up here. He loves going on drives as well. Noah loves it up here. He loves staring out the window when we go on drives because it is so pretty. And if you are going to be stationed up here soon, you are going to love it. Unless you're like anti-nature and just love the city, you can drive up to Seattle a lot, I guess. I don't know. Alright you guys, I'm going to end this video right here. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you go do some of these things if you're from around this area. If you are going to be stationed at JBLM soon or already are, comment down below. I'm just curious. If you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button down below and give this video a big thumbs up. And I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.